Okay, so now we're gonna cut these noodles and we wanna be sure that there's enough flour underneath this that's nice and smooth so that they can not stick. We don't want them sticking anywhere. And we want a little bit of flour on the top here. Okay, now you'll remember in her recipe it said to cut them into four inch strips. So I'm gonna cut this into four inch strips like this. And that's not gonna exactly be a four inch strip there, but and I have no idea if that's four inches. I'm not very good at measuring. But these noodles are very nice. And then it says to stack them. So when I stack them, I'm gonna make sure there's enough flour in between them so that they are, uh, they don't stick together. We do not want these noodles to stick together in any way, shape, or form. So we need to make sure that there's flour in between them so they don't, uh, do this. And then you'll remember the last time I did this, I used a pizza cutter. This time I'm going to use a knife. Um, and we just start slicing them down the side. We're going to slice them to about a quarter of an inch thick, wide. That one's a little bit wide right there, so I can just cut it like that. And, you know, these aren't going to look like they came out of a package in the store. They're all going to look homemade. They may be a little bit thicker than some. They may be a little bit thinner in places, but we want to make these noodles all well, that's going to be a nice fat one. Now, if you like shorter noodles, you could probably do them shorter. I'm going to make these like this. I'm gonna keep slicing these. Now, when Christy makes these, she's seen her mother do it a many, many, many times. They may do it a little bit differently, and I would, everybody has a slightly different method, and I kind of am gonna to defer to her on how her family did it, because it's their recipe. But here we see that I have the noodles toward the end, and any of these that look too fat, I can just make them a little bit thinner. And so then we have these noodles that look like this. You see, they're all ready to go. A couple of those there. And I'm gonna just put them in this pile till I've got the boiling water ready. And then when it's time to boil them, I can put them in, shaking off the flour as I drop them into the boiling water. And because they have so much egg in them, the uh, egg will cook right away and they'll actually be really, really nice and uh, tart. You'll boil them for about six, seven minutes and then they're ready to put in whatever recipe you want them in, they're in your soup. You'll be cooking them into your soup. Tonight, my husband and I are having Chinese noodles. I'll be putting these into a Chinese broth and putting some things on top of them. But these are our noodles for tonight. Thank you.